Hello, bonjour, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lazius K, and I talk about the practical usage of VR, yeah. And today we're gonna to be talking about VR Time XR, which is a really cool app. But before we go into that, let's roll the intro, let's go. Welcome back. Remember to like and subscribe as usual. Share the love so that you and I together, we can grow the community and get more people to benefit from these really cool videos. All right, so today we're gonna to be calling, we're gonna be calling, we're gonna be talking about VTime, which is basically an online social media app where you can meet new people as well as invite your friends and colleagues from work or collaborators into rooms online in different VR environments, which is really, really awesome. Okay. Remember to go to their website and to register a account there for free. You can also do it in the app as well, but you know, it's always good to do it before and then you go into the app after. All right, let's go into the app now. All right, so now we're inside the Oculus Go. Let's go and check out VTime XR. Okay, so after the presentation screen, you'll be transported into a really cool room where there's a cat there by the window. And it seems to be like maybe we're in London. Everything's been modeled in 3D. It's pretty clear. And I do feel very, very comfortable in this room. And there's a fireplace here also. So it feels pretty warm, very cozy environment. So this is my home. Uh, you can also see your hands and your feet. So your avatar, feet and hands and legs and stuff. Uh, if you press with your thumb on the on the control pad, uh, you'll be able to change seat. So you can change basically to the opposite side. So to navigate in VTime, uh, basically all you do is you point, you, you need to click on your, on the touchpad first with your thumb to activate your wand. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. So you just click on your touchpad, and if there's nothing happening, it means there's nothing there. So if you point towards the top, you'll see there's a sphere that appears here. And this is your control menu. So what you can do is, you can change your avatar. And you can edit absolutely everything that you want. You can edit the, the head, the clothes, I mean, absolutely everything that you want, it doesn't matter. So I can change the color of the specs. I can change the type of glasses. Okay, and all these different things. So I'm going to go back and discard the changes and go back again. Okay, so if I want my sphere, here we go, it's up there again. I just use my thumb. Now, VTime is all about meeting people from all over the world. And what's really cool is that, okay, people can actually send you a request to meet you at any time. So you might have a pop-up that comes up, uh, whatever person wants to, to meet up with you, and you can click yes or no. So we can choose different destinations. So they have different rooms from all over the world. And this is a magic show. Now I want to show you the boardroom. The reason why I want to show you the boardroom is because it's, I think one of the only rooms in the app where you can actually upload content from their website. And then with other people, you can show this content. So if you mouse over with your wand to select image, all this content is from the website that I uploaded on the VTime website itself. So for example, this is a picture. As a host, you may share content by accepting you agree VTime accepts no responsibility for your content, which is displayed at your own risk. Okay, fine. 
and then it will upload here. This is Sunny Chow, a model that I shot in Beijing uh, whilst I was doing the China Fashion Week behind the scenes mini documentaries in VR360. You can view the video on my YouTube channel. So you can actually have other people here in the room. Uh, we're on in an office building high up. I think this is Denver if I'm not wrong. Um, and it's a replica of the environment because everything here is in 3D. And there's also a cup of coffee there. So to change room, again, you just mouse over to the top of your wand, like so, and then press with your thumb again. And then we can look at another destination. So we're here, this would be more of an intimate setting. So maybe you want to meet up with a potential date or with your actual date. Maybe you live far away from your wife or your girlfriend or, or your fiance and you know you want to meet up in VR in Paris then you can do it from here this is a pretty cool environment and you can change seat again by using your wand and click on change seat and then I have it's easier for me to look from this angle at the Alpha Tower and I can hear the people, I can hear a crowd downstairs. Uh, it's pretty immersive. It's a pretty cool environment. So to change, I just point up towards the sphere, click on, the, on my wand, click again. Let's go to Orbital, it's a very cool environment. So Orbital enables you to see the Earth from space. And you can just imagine, of course, with Elon Musk and his crazy ideas, one day, and also Virgin Galactic, the Richard Branson, one day we actually will be able <laughs> to view Earth from space. But this is pretty amazing. You feel very immersed. You can hear yourself breathing through your oxygen tank inside of your mask. It feels very immersive. And you can imagine with your colleagues or your friends having a meeting in space, talking about your next big idea or talking about your business, your revenue strategy, your marketing strategy up here in space. I mean, it is pretty, pretty immersive in VR. Okay, so let me point up to the sphere. Another destination that is pretty nice uh, it used to be here. So this is more of a relaxing kind of environment, more of a retreat type of environment. A very zen kind of garden. So I can change seats again by pressing with my thumb on the controller pad and aiming towards the seat. So we have a cherry blossom there with some mountains. This looks like it could be the Alps, to be honest, but of course, we're probably in Japan. It's all constructed in 3D, but I feel very relaxed. I can hear the water. I can hear the chimes. I can hear the birds chirping. I almost really feel like I'm really here. It's pretty, pretty amazing. So let's check out Under the Stars. Campfire is one of the new environments that VTime have created. And oh, I can see a little cobra over there. Oh. And if I use my control pad and then I click on change seat. Okay, I'm closer towards the tent. So this is the nighttime. I can hear the wolves. This is a bit more mysterious. I can see some kind of bird over there flying and there's a snake around. So it's a little, a little bit more creepy, um, but maybe it's a very interesting way to do some team building 
here. Uh, you can generally invite about four or five people in each of the rooms. Um, it can be limited to three in some of them. Oh, it's an owl that just flew there. That's pretty, pretty awesome, pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to let you, oh, I'm going to let you explore the other worlds yourself. I'm just going to mouse over to the top again, click on my control pad, and I'm going to show you how you can actually invite people. So you go to connections, and all the people who are on VTime at this moment are basically located here. And every time you see one sphere with a, a bar like this attached to another one, it means that they're actually talking together. And these are your own connections, your friends. So you can browse by suggested, you can browse by random, by pending. So you can actually invite people. So if you're in a company or you're a group of friends, uh, or what have you not, you can then register uh, a login and you can search for a specific user and then invite them to whichever room you're in and then together um, you can then chat. So if I go back to Sphere, then it shows me all the people here. Maybe we can go into one of the rooms and just say hello very quickly and then leave again. Let's see if we can join Yeko, Yeriko. What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? Hey. Oh, you guys are just Luis, appeared. Luis. Hey, Luis. Hi, Yeriko. Hi, Robert. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Where are you guys from? I'm from the States. Cool. I'm here in Singapore. Oh, so what's your room about? We just talk again. Cool. Like uh, I was just about to give a presentation, but I need the controls. Nice. <coughs> How do I give you the controls? Yeah. I'll just sit back and listen to your presentation. Okay, so we're back in our study with our cat over there. Hey, kitty, kitty. Uh, he's not meowing at the moment, just looking outside. So I gave you an overview of VTime. You can also use other devices. You can use your phone or you can also use your computer or mobile device to browse and to meet people or to, to have meetings with your own colleagues or to meet up with your friends. However, it's much, much more immersive doing this in VR. Uh, the reason why it's called VTime XR is because X is for X reality which basically means it's a cross-platform uh, enabled social app. But VR is amazing, amazing, amazing. It's so immersive when you're meeting people in VR. It's absolutely incredible. All right, I will review other apps that are fairly similar where you can also meet up with your friends or your colleagues or meet up with new people that you can potentially socialize with. So let's get out of VR. Okay, so we spoke about VTime XR, which is a really cool social media VR app where you can basically invite your friends, your colleagues, your clients, or collaborators that you worked with, as well as meet new people online in VR 3D environments, which is really, really awesome. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love and comment below. Write as fast as you possibly can and leave as many comments as you can. Of course, as always, I'm very open to your ideas and suggestions so that I can potentially go out and shoot some cool content for you guys. All right, until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy. DJ Q Music. <laughs>